I also like the analogy you gave about the hole in the dam. So given that truth, right, the state and the international financiers don't like that money leaving their system, how do you think they're going to respond in the coming months or years? I mean, it's hard to predict the future, but how do you address that um, overall? Well, I, I estimate that they're going to go through five stages of response. Uh, stage one is denial. Um, Bitcoin can't work, Bitcoin won't work, Bitcoin isn't working, except that it is. Stage two is anger. Bitcoin is for terrorists, criminals, and pedophiles, just like they said about the internet. Until, of course, it isn't. Stage three is bargaining. We can do blockchains. We're at stage three now. We can do blockchains, and that will fix everything. We will just take the open, borderless, transnational, open innovation, open permissionless system, and make it closed, jurisdiction-specific, permission-based, and take everything good out of it, and then we have a blockchain. Ta-da! Uh, which is a bit like the uh, Horse and Carriage Association of America saying, Listen, we have studied this newfangled automobile, and it seems kind of sketchy. We don't think that's going to work. But we are now heavily invested in pneumatic tires. Pneumatic tires, the technology behind the automobile, is the thing that we believe makes all the difference. So we now present the new horse and buggy carriage with pneumatic tires, and that will preserve our investment in stables, veterinary doctors, and hay. That's bargaining. After bargaining comes depression, and after depression, finally acceptance. And acceptance is when um, the global financial system gets re-engineered to work on open, borderless public ledgers, and it will. There is absolutely no question in my mind about that. <laughs>